In the midst of the coronavirus scare, a lot of colleges and sports teams are going to no fans allowed at games. So, how do you as a fan stay connected to the sport you love and keep your fandom going at full speed? Hey guys, it's Josh, the 980 Know-It-All, coming to you today to really just talk about things that are going on, ways to keep your fandom going during this time where a lot of sports teams, a lot of colleges are saying, hey, no fans allowed at the games. So, hey guys, before we do that, take a moment, subscribe to the channel. That way you know when new videos are coming out, which honestly, with not being able to go to games, this might be the one way to get you know your sports fix each day. And guys... Like the video, it does help out. It lets more people see it uh, when they log on to YouTube, especially baseball fans. You know, YouTube then directs them to that video and it helps out. It helps me, helps them. So guys, right off the bat, the first thing that you can do to kind of keep your fandom going is do what you used to do as a kid, and that's collect baseball cards. You know, that's something I love to do. Uh, I didn't do it for a long time. That's kind of when baseball wasn't as important to me. Uh, but now, as you can see, I've got... You know, cards I'm collecting, cards behind me down below. Uh, even like for the other things that I love, when we talk about like Star Wars, I got Funko Pops, my Marvel ones right there. You know, collecting things that are related to what I'm doing helps me be a fan, helps me to uh, be a part of that. And guys, while I'm talking about baseball cards, I do want to give a huge thank you, a huge shout out uh, to goldcardauctions.com. They're actually the newest supporter of 90 Know It All. Uh, so, guys, there'll be a link down in the description below. Check them out. Like I said, they're supporting 90 Know It All, helping us to keep going on, do what we do, get to more games, produce more content like this. So, uh, I'm, I'm excited for that. There are, once again, they're the newest sponsor that I got. And just want to say thank you to them. And, you know, go check them out. Once again, link will be in the description below. So, guys, baseball cards, that's the first thing I have for you. Second thing is watch games online. And you'd be surprised how many free baseball and softball games there are on YouTube that you can go watch. There are, there are dozens and dozens, maybe even hundreds of colleges that have their games broadcast live for free. And some of them are better quality than others. But you know what? If you just want to sit down, turn on a game, and just watch it and relax... There's a lot of games going on out there. You can watch even the replays, obviously, because it's on YouTube. For me, I watch, you know, I live here in Southwest Washington. I'm five minutes away from Lower Columbia College, and they they do both their baseball and their softball games. Now, if both teams are playing at the same time, they only do uh, one team's games because the main guy who does it can't be at both places. But they do broadcast their games, and they're pretty good quality. I mean, it's not like major league quality where they have the big cameras, but I'll be honest, I can sit down and just watch, and, and they you know usually have someone doing the play-by-play, -play, and the individuals who do the play-by-play -play for Lower Columbia, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good at what they do. Uh, so I can do that if I'm not able to get to the game for some reason, uh, or maybe it's just too cold, too late at night for me to go. Uh, also, other teams here in the Northwest – a lot of the community colleges broadcast games. Now, like Edmonds Community College, they broadcast their games, and all they do is they just put a camera there, and they just broadcast it live. They don't have a play-by-play. -play. You can't really see first or third base, but at the same time, I watched the game last night, and I got the full gist of what was going on. I could see the pitcher. I could see the batter. I could see plays up the middle, and you know, I was sorting through photos. So I was like, hey, it's good enough for me because I wasn't staring at the TV watching it play-by-play. I just wanted to see the score. I wanted to see the pitches. I just wanted to know what was going on live, and I was able to do that. And it was it was perfect for me. It was good enough for me. I was happy. But I found that there are a lot of athletic departments across the country that broadcast all their games. I mean, just like two weeks ago, I was watching a, a school on the East Coast playing hockey. Uh, I was watching their game live. They had play-by-play. -play. It was fun. I mean, it was free. I just turned on YouTube on my Roku. And did that. You can watch it on your phone, watch it on your computer, tablet, whatever. Now, just find all the colleges in your area, or even outside your area, that, that have athletic departments and see if they have broadcast their games for free. Now, there are some schools that will charge. Um, I know there's some schools in Oregon that they broadcast their games, but you have to buy a subscription. Not a huge price, but it does cost money. Uh, obviously, if you go to like the bigger schools, Division One. 
like LSU and, and University of Washington and Oregon State, they're going to be on specific channels, uh, like the Pac-12 channel, the SEC channel. So those you got to pay for. Um, I have ESPN Plus uh, because I have Disney Plus, and I just threw ESPN Plus in there as well. So I get to watch a lot of games through that, and that's great as well. So watch games online. There's, Like I said, there's a lot of free games. You could probably spend all day, every day watching games you know, that happened the weekend before, and it's worth it. It's fun, and, you know, you get to kind of enjoy your local teams in a new way. And if you can't be at the games, you can still enjoy the games. So next thing I have for you guys, fantasy baseball. I, I know a lot of people who love fantasy baseball, a lot of people who don't love fantasy baseball. But right now, if you're trying to be involved as, as a fan, trying to be, you know, just going and trying to love the sport you 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 love why not fantasy baseball do a draft in fact i'm thinking maybe not tonight but at some point i want to do another live video of me doing a draft i did a regular you know snake draft or the draft was like that uh, that was fun but i want to do an auction draft because auction drafts you can do kind of a theme with your team uh, i know that my next draft i do as an auction draft it's going to be my autograph team, so I can only draft players that I have autographs of. Now, my team isn't as strong as it used to be. I used to have a pretty strong autograph team that I could draft in auction drafts. I've still got a decent team that I can put together, but it's nice in auctions. I can make sure I focus my money towards the guys that I know I need to get uh, to fill my roster and not worry about all the other guys. So you can also do like, you know, pick your favorite players, you know, try and create the best outfield in, in all of baseball, whatever you want to do. There's a lot of things you can do with fantasy, and it's just fun. It's just fun to be a GM, trade players, all that type of stuff. Okay, so the fourth thing I got for you guys, go out and play catch. If you have a son or a daughter, or maybe you're a kid and you have a, a friend who plays ball with you, go play catch. Go to the go to the park and hit balls. Do something. Just go out there and do something baseball-wise. Um, you know, like I said, for me, I have two daughters. One is three, one is seven, almost eight. Uh, my oldest one, she plays. she's played softball for a few years, and she likes to go out and hit the balls, try and play catch a little bit. My youngest one's actually hitting off the tee pretty well for a three-year-old, so we go out and do that, and it's fun. It doesn't, we're not out there for a long time, maybe a, a half an hour, but it's still fun. It still connects me to the game, and it's just, you know, it's a good time spending with my daughters, so that's another thing. Okay. This one's a big one. This one is a huge one. You have to do this one. If, if you do nothing else on my list, this is the one you have to do. Watch 980 Know-It-All videos. Read the blog posts on 980 Know-It-All. Just hang out with, there are lots of, well I should say, there's not a lot of YouTubers who do baseball focused content. There are a few of us out there. Um, not as many as I, I would hope there to be. A, a lot of the ones that are out there right now are more focused on you know, doing drills and techniques and, and teaching the game, which is awesome. I, I honestly love watching some of those because I have, like I said, two daughters who play softball. I'm involved with uh, the local Babe Ruth League here. So seeing those things are actually really nice and a lot of fun. But go out and find video, find guys who make videos about baseball and just listen to them. You know, go read the content we have on Not Any Know It All. We have some amazing posts over the last nine years, a lot of great articles about what baseball means to me, talking about spring training, talking about just being a fan. So go through, check all those out. Um, you know, we do have a lot of content on 90 Know It All, and I'm doing videos every day at this point, sometimes two videos a day. Uh, in fact, I this will go out on Thursday morning, but I had a video come out Wednesday morning, which is technically this morning for me. I put out a video Wednesday afternoon, and I'm recording this one as well. It's, once again, it's coming out the next morning, which will end up being Thursday morning. So I'm putting out a lot of videos, doing a lot of content, just because I want to talk baseball. I want to share my love and my passion for the game. And I want the fans, you guys, to be able to watch and, and have fun too, to be a part of it. And this jumps to my last one uh, that I have on, on my list, and that's find a, a group to chat with online. And, you know, just do stuff like that. And I'll be honest with you guys. If enough of you contact me and say you want to do something like that, I can actually do a live video where people can be in the comment section and 
leave questions, leave thoughts, leave comments, and we can we can have a full discussion about baseball. Now, granted, it'd be pretty heavy, one-sided because I'll see it then do all the talking. But if you guys want to do something like that, where we just do a live video, where I'm sitting here um, on my really uncomfortable stool and just reading the comments off my computer and saying, you know, this is the player I follow, this is the team I like, and any question about baseball, I'll talk about. Heck, I'll even talk about movies and stuff. I don't care. I love movies. I'm a big Disney fan, big Marvel fan, and a big baseball fan. So find ways to be involved in the game one way or another. Um, I think this coronavirus is, is stinks. Um, the last video I did that came out yesterday was me pretty much bashing the Ivy League for shutting down all spring sports entirely, just shutting them all down. Uh, I think that's a bad decision, but if you want to know more, go check out that video. I'll tag it at the very end of this video so you can click on it and go watch it. But guys, just find ways to be involved. Find ways to stay connected to the game that you love. And if you do that, you know, when all this is done, you'll still have that same passion, that same love, maybe even a stronger passion, a stronger love, because you found new ways to be excited about the game that you've grown up, you know, really just enjoying and playing. So guys, those are my thoughts, my ideas. If you have other ideas, leave them down in the comment section down below because I'll be honest, these are just things I came up off the top of my head uh, really quickly before I started the video. And I know there's a lot more things that can be done to help keep people excited about baseball, softball, even other sports in general while this is all going on. So guys, I'm Josh, the 98 Know It All. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and be safe out there and wash your hands. Please wash your hands. See you guys.